Hello, good evening, how's everyone doing? Hopefully in good health, but this is the completed 55 gallon tank reload. Took the fish from the 46 gallon to this 55, which I had fish that, that actually expired in the other tank. But now, we have a completed, uplifted, 55 gallon tank. I'll show more later on. Let me get this a little smaller for you. As you can see, you see the terrarium up here. But this is the 55 gallon tank completed with ornaments. And I have in here cichlids. Convict cichlids. You seen her doing fine after I cleaned it out. Put the proper maintenance on it. It is now completed. I say it's a it's a beautiful relief just to see live things in the tank, living, thriving, doing what they do best, eat, and then pretty soon I imagine I will have some. And Placo's doing fine. She or he should get very large because this is a large tank. Very well done, I should say. And I put this uh, power head up. create more bubbles and I have over here another power head just to keep moving the water and that's very key and very important for a fish tank is that the water needs to keep flowing, like in the ocean, like in, not like rivers or, but the, the water keeps flowing. Water needs to keep flowing. If water doesn't keep flowing, it becomes stagnant. Now, this is the other tank, empty, but I left some fish in there. As you can see, they're all brothers and sisters. Pretty soon I'll fill this up with some ornaments. And of course, these fish will breed. They will breed, they will have babies, and pretty soon the whole tank will be full. I tried to introduce uh, snails, but as you can see, the snails didn't make it. Of course, now, every time you get a fish or something coming out of another uh, type of water, as, as like a pet, to put into another tank, you always need to acclimate that fish, snail, whatever you add into that aquarium, you need to add it slowly. You need to be very careful because the change of water, uh, I can say water bacteria, or, or the germs that actually the fish manage to uh, get used to and live with as it passes through its gills and it gets the oxygen, so on and so forth. It needs to have 
a chance to adjust a system so it can thrive in the water. As you can see, that is a female that came out. It's a female right there. And she's fending off, so she's probably about to lay some eggs. And this is the male. Amazing. These fish have been very fruitful and they have multiplied. This is a 46 gallon setup, which I have fed worms to them in, 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 in previous videos. But that is the transformation from the 46 to the 55. And this is the 55. Uh, later on, I'll get used to putting some live plants in the water. Of course, the plants change the pH and so on and so forth. They all seem to be thriving without a lot of plants. But I plan in a later video we'll put crayfish in both tanks. They're just always full of action. Till next time.